Wayne Rooney's return to Goodison Park 13 years after he left as a hotly hyped teenager could still develop into the fairy tale reunion that he hoped it would be. But the Toffees have been soft so far this season and there are plenty of questions to ask about the advisability of the transfer. Is it meant to be? Or are football clubs better off leaving this kind of storyline to Mills and Boone? Let's have a look. Let's start with the Everton squad. Now it might seem like there's little to be said against bringing one of the best goal scorers in English football into your side, but there are a few things that Coman needs to get straight. Notoriously tight-fisted chairman Bill Kenwright was incredibly induced to part with no less than 140 million quid over the transfer window, although obviously the sale of Lukaku gave the club a big old packet of cash to dip into. Coman has brought in players who, while you might not describe them as up and coming, have got their best years ahead of them. Sandro Ramirez, Jordan Pickford and Davy Klaassen are 22, 23 and 24 years old, respectively. He's trying to build a fast and fearless team and at least on paper, Rooney's inclusion looks incongruous. Then there's the fact that Coman has now got three number 10s, Rooney, Sigurdsson and Ross Barkley. For years, managers have agonised and prayed and suffered and consulted and cursed in vain when faced with the question, how do you get the best out of Wayne Rooney? The last manager's use for him was a delight for those who like their benches warm, but Rooney does Everton no good if he can't play, and the last thing he wants is a repeat of the stalemate that throws him out of the lineup at United last season. There's another thing, United last season. Absurd as it is, after all that he achieved there, Rooney eventually came to be something of a relic at Old Trafford. A long and bitter decline hardly seems like the best preparation for the new challenge back at Goodison. It's been a downhill slope in terms of sharpness and fitness for Rooney over the past few years, and while he's never been the fat and lazy layabout that his fiercest haters hold him to be, in a squad full of spring chickens, Wazza needs his knees to hold out if he's going to do a job. The problem for him is that he started at such a young age, and after an intense playing career, he looks more tired at 31 than Zlatan does at very nearly 36. When Rooney returned to United with his new old side in the Premier League recently, the gulf between what Everton lost in Lukaku and what they gained in Rooney was clear for all to see. And when Coman reacted angrily to Mourinho's smug and snidey comments about Everton's top four ambitions, the gulf between where Rooney was and where he is now was also on show. There is a danger that this move could become little more than a quiet step into semi-retirement. But to be fair to him, he has been talking about trophies, so it seems like his head is in the right place. Oh wait, no that's right, his head's not in the right place. It's in a courtroom on the stand on top of a neck of a clown who's just got himself banned from driving for two years for getting behind the wheel and trying to push the whip while he was three times the legal limit. His arrest for drink driving came less than two weeks after he signed and he appeared in court less than 24 hours after returning to Old Trafford with his new club and receiving a 4-0 hiding. Fair play, he's been pretty contrite about everything and it's no fun taking shots at a man who has been a constant target for the lowest tabloid hacks in the British press throughout his adult life, but one might still be forgiven for gently suggesting that, for that exact reason, Rooney ought to know better. Discipline might be an overrated good in lots of areas of life, but for a Premier League footballer, it's a fairly important characteristic. Getting yourself caught up in a mess like this hardly indicates the iron dedication and commitment that Everton need to be able to count on if all their talk about silverware is to amount to anything this season. Still, he has managed to keep clear of the grandmother role-playing prostitutes of his early days in the game, so I guess that is progress. Forgive us, Wayne. Forgive us, Everton fans. Actually, we do think there's a lot more than just a learned resistance to the temptations of wrinkled streetwalkers that speaks in Rooney's favour. Here are some reasons why the prodigal son's return might yet prove to have been a Comanian masterstroke. First of all, let's have a look at the numbers. Now, throughout his career, Rooney has suffered from his success. Having a go at him has been plenty of people's favourite pastime for a long time, but we do well to remember just what an incredible career he's had. 
The boy wonder announced himself with that unforgettable strike against Arsenal at just 16 years old and became the youngest ever goalscorer in the Premier League. He's Manchester United's all-time top goalscorer. He's England's all-time top goalscorer. Five Premier League titles, three League Cup titles, one Champions League title, one FA Cup, one Europa League, one FIFA Club World Cup, the list goes on. These trophies don't win themselves. Rooney couldn't have had the career that he has had if he wasn't a world-class talent. And while he needs to prove that he can still do it after a couple of cold years at United, a new start could be exactly what he needs. Now that he's retired from international football, he's free to dedicate himself entirely to the task of helping Everton finally win something. Of course, the Toffees have signed a 31-year-old with his best days behind him, not recaptured the prodigy that they lost 13 years ago, but everything that Rooney now lacks in freshness and energy, he makes up for in experience. We are, after all, talking about the former Manchester United and England captain. That experience could be an invaluable asset in Coman's Daisy Fresh dressing room. There's one last thing. Out with reason, in with romance. When you think about that goal against Arsenal back in 2002, and when you see that goal against Stoke in the first Premier League match of the season this year, it's hard not to slide into sentimentality and join the rest of the dreamers drinking from the cup of soft-hearted hope. Rooney said when he signed that while he knew his time at United was drawing to a close throughout last season, there was only one club he wanted to go to. He said that for the 13 years of his self-imposed Mancunian exile, he's been going to bed wearing Everton pyjamas. When he smashed that goal past David Seaman and ended Arsenal's 30-game unbeaten run in the league, he was a 16-year-old on 80 quid a week. Now, he might leave a bit more of a dent in the club's budget, but he's nevertheless been a lifelong Everton fan. His dad took him to his first game at Goodison Park when he was just a six-month-old baby. He was there in the ground the last time the Toffees won a trophy. And of course, in his first league game back in an Everton shirt, at home, he scored the winner. If that doesn't warm your heart, then you must be a stone-cold, puppy-smothering emotional blank. Or a Liverpool fan. What do you think? Is he going to sink like a lump of lead in the Stanley Park pond? Or is he going to be the hero that Everton need? Was it the right move to bring him back? Or is all that romantic rubbish just going to crash on the rocks of Premier League reality? Let us know what you think. Let us know why you think it. See you later.